What if I told you that you can upload directly to Instagram from your PC without having to install any fancy softwares or emulators? All you need is Google Chrome. Now you may be wondering, but I can upload IGTV from the Instagram website. Yes, you can. But that is the only thing the Instagram website allows you to do. But then what about Reels? What about Stories? What about creating different things that the Instagram app allows you to do? This tool I found allows you to do every single thing I just mentioned alongside with um, scheduling posts, having um, hashtag research, and a few other things that are always amazing for you to do as a content creator. And it is absolutely free. Now that Instagram is becoming more of a video sharing app, we're no longer a photo sharing app or a square photo sharing app. Many of us are looking for ways to upload high quality content without the Instagram app stepping it down for us. And I think this tool is great for anyone looking for that. I've been using it for the past one month and it has been great. All my reels are uploaded in high quality and it has been performing really well. So without further ado, or without saying too much, let's get to the video. Before we get into it, I want to state that it doesn't matter whether you use a, a Mac or a PC that has Windows, as long as you can use Google Chrome on your PC, you can actually use make use of this tool. And the name of the tool is called Insist. It's an extension on Google Chrome and it is really amazing. Now, um, before we get into everything, if you're here to subscribe to this channel, please, um, I would really appreciate it if you did that right now. Cause this is one of the ways that I get to, you know, you get to help my entire, you know, pursuit as a content creator. Um, this channel is completely and totally advertisement free. So your support goes a long way. So thank you so much for doing that. Um, if you haven't done that, um, don't let me come for you. <laughs> All right. So we're getting to Google Chrome now, open Google Chrome. And once you open Google Chrome, just search for insist or go to the, um, link in the description for a link to this particular extension. Now, what you can see on my screen right now is another extension called Momentum. You can also find a link in the description. So just search for Insist. That's already have been searched already. I-N-S-S-I-S-T. Um, yeah, you can go to their official website or just open Google Chrome directly. So I would go to the one for um, the Chrome extension. And once you have it open, just go ahead and install it. Now it's amazing because you get to do a whole lot of things with this very simple app. And um, it's, it's, it's crazy, right? Now you get to even upload. So you can see on the screen already, you can see post to Instagram from your desktop um, and it is free, you know, to some extent, you might need to pay for a little bit of services after that, but it is really mind blowing. Yeah, I might be need too much, but I don't know why. I've been creating a lot on my phone already, so I'll just show you quickly. All right, so once it's done um, checking, it opens up the extension right on your pc and then you can have access to that all right so you can see chrome has been added, has been added to your whatever and then just click on it and then it opens up the you know the whole thing and this is where the magic happens so instagram assistant just click on okay let's go and then it tells you to log into your instagram now i use um, the two-factor authentication so um, i'll just go ahead and check that in so yeah, put in my details, um, right quickly and then log in. Once you log in, you know, it will just take you directly to where you need to go to. You would see everything there. All right. Uh, two factor authentication. Let me just get this ring quickly. Six, three. So we're getting there. And once it opens up, this is basically Instagram for, um, iPhone on PC. Can't you see this is amazing? And then you basically just see the old Instagram, Instagram inter interface right here. When you see that, you can now access every other thing that you can access from here. So you can basically see all the different, um, you know, things. If you click on the plus sign, you can see, right? Story, photo, reels, IGTV, carousel, and you can also schedule posts. Isn't that crazy? Like that is amazing. You can schedule posts and you can also add stories. You can do every single thing. Now, if you go to the side here, you can see the sidebar and then basically see what's new about the app and then click on the DM sign. You can respond to DMs even from here, you know, just go ahead, click on one thing and respond to DMs. Um, and then you can also see all your posts and everything. Check, um, see the insights. It opens up now you might need to connect, you know, later to Instagram to be able to 
schedule, post, and sort of understand how carousel works here. We'll do that along the way. And then you can also go ahead and do, you know, hashtag research. Like it brings, just type something there. Let's say hashtag um, creative. And then it brings related hashtags to creative for you to see and sort of go over. So you can see, and then you can always add these ones when you schedule your post. And then if you go for the pro version, you can basically see, you know, what it costs, $7, $79 for lifetime. And yeah, well, but the free version, you know, still gets pretty much everything done for you. So I think that's amazing. All right. So let's go right into the app itself. Let's understand how it works. Now, looking at this, um, you can switch. This is to go back. That's the go back arrow. And then this is to refresh. And then if you click on um, the toggle white screen, it actually becomes bigger. Like it enters white screen mode. Once I click it, you can see it enters white screen mode and you can enjoy Instagram in portrait mode, like big. And then you can always scroll the same way, just double tap. And then it, it likes something, the same thing again, double tap and it likes something. So basically this is Instagram, you know, f on phone, on your PC. The same way you can find explore, everything is exactly the same way, right? Um, so you can see basically everything. And then if you go to the activities activity bar, you can see all the recent activities on your page. So I'm basically just telling you Instagram all over again. I'm sure you're getting, you want to see the main thing. All right. So now there is a way to toggle, you know, light mode or dark mode, which is great. I really like this. And then let's just go back to the phone. Um, yeah. View. All right. So now let's go to actually posting. But then one thing before we go start posting, click on your on your profile and then you can see something really interesting. It would show you, you know, you can basically do everything you normally do on the normal Instagram app, you know, put in your DMs, um, edit things and basically do everything. You know, people that actually made this, I really, they really tried. You know, you can check all your post your guides reels everything you've uploaded everything shows up here all right so now let's actually upload something right let's upload a picture so you select and choose a photo um asap 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 all right so we select and choose a photo right okay so let me use this one i'll be uploading later tomorrow upload the photo and then it brings up the whole thing now you can actually choose more files but i'll just go ahead with this go to next and then put in the caption I want to type. So let's just say, um, you are creative. You are creative. Yeah, that's, that's the hashtag. And then I can go ahead and then add hashtags based on creative. So creative, um, Insta good, artists on Instagram, photo of the day, digital illustration, whatever it is, just click on them and then it shows you. Now when you connect your Instagram um, and you link properly, it will show you more insights about the hashtags. So once I'm done, click on add location. I select a location. Um, let's say I'm going for Ibadan. I'm currently in Ibadan, Nigeria. So yeah, select Ibadan. And then you can tag people as well. But once you're done, basically the way Instagram works, share and it goes live. Now I would go to my page on my phone right now so you can actually see it. Now it shows your photo has been posted. Go back to photo and then you can see everything like exactly like you can see it. It's posted already. And if I go back to my phone, you can actually see it on my phone as well. So let me just go to my phone quickly. Um, right, so this, this is the feed coming directly from my phone. I go to Instagram and then I try to find my page. And then you can see it, you know, you. And it's right there, like already. It's right there. Isn't that crazy? Now, I'm sure the part we all want to see is reels and, you know, video stuff, right? So let's get into uploading reels and videos or stories as well. So just go ahead, click on story or whatever. So let's go for reels first. Click on reels and um, it opens up your uh, your space on your laptop, and then you can just find where you sort of keep your reels or whatever videos you've recorded. Um, I'll just go ahead and pick one of the videos I made in the past and upload so you can see it. Now I would compare two videos I made, right? There was one I made and I uploaded directly from the Instagram app and the quality was messed up. And then the one that will be uploading from here. So we can compare 
the different results of these two different things. So I'm picking a video, it's loading right now. And then um, just go to next, right? Uh, maybe write your caption, whatever caption you want to write. So let's just say I'm writing test, test upload using um, PC, right? And then um, you can see, you can choose your cover frame. So I'll be choosing cover frame. I can just pick any one I want to use, right? Select whichever one I feel like using. All these are actually hilarious. All right, so I select one and then you can decide to add hashtags or not, or you can also upload your own custom um, frame, you know, custom cover. You can choose from different frames or upload the custom cover. So you just click on upload custom cover and then select the custom cover. So. All right, so I'll just be using the auto, right? And then go ahead, add hashtags, and then you can also see the option to share for, share to your feed. Once you're done with that, just go ahead and click share. And it starts to load. And then sort of loads, uploads, and then you get to see the result. Now, um, now I will show us a comprising between the current one that is uploading. I'll download it again and then upload it so you can see, so we'll compare side by side comparison between the two and then you will see how different the upload quality is like it is mind-blowing actually so um it's, it's about 80 percent now once it's done i will show you guys quickly um the result that these needs all right so it's currently processing and once it is done i will just go ahead and check from my phone so we can see the two different results right it has uploaded and um so it has uploaded and if you go back to your account right you will definitely see um it there once you reload you will see it there so i go back to my account and then i can already see it there from the phone it's already here so you can see it's here already and it's it's act like it's actually the best quality i've seen out there which is really amazing. So the next thing now is we just sort of understand how stories work as well. So we'll go for stories, click on the same plus, click story, and then select any video you want to sort of upload for stories, you know. Um, select this story sign or just click on anywhere you know Instagram allows you to add stories. It opens up your space on your PC and then you can select anything you want to put on your stories. All right, so let's say I'm putting um, the I was in the shower as well, the same video, and then I put it on stories. And then it opens up the story size, and then you can actually add text, add a swipe up sign if you have that, um, that feature on Instagram. But then it doesn't really have all the extra stickers that the new Instagram has. It doesn't have that. But then it has the default ones that you can always use. Um, you can try out a whole lot of different things. Um, it's an app, like it's, it's someone's, um, edit and I feel they did a little bit of work to actually get it right. So, um, kudos to them. I think because I'm using a video, it's loading too much because I'm re screen recording as well. So that might be a, a little bit of a conflict, but that's by the way. So it says video is too long. It has to be 15 minutes. So got it. And I'll upload something that is shorter this time around. So I'll go for a picture this time around. Um, yeah. Picture, picture. All right, so I select the picture and it processes for a little bit. Voila, and you can see the picture is there already. You can add text, um, new post, right? I can't imagine if you type that new post and then you can drag it whichever way you want. Although you can't scale or enlarge because it's on PC. You can add your own custom links, right? If you have the feature, um, you can, you know, create, um, you can tag someone on the post. Let's say, um, pro creatives, right? It brings the account, click on it. Okay. And then you can sort of put it where you want to put it. Um, you can also draw, right? Let's say you select the color doodle on it a little bit and then once you're done click done and then you can post your story and it will show on you know instagram 
So isn't that, <laughs> I've been saying crazy too much, but this is actually really amazing. So you can see that it really works and it gets done. And I feel we can, you know, spend more time to understand this app, you know, download it, go over it, uh, go over everything that the app has to do with you. You would see that it has a lot of benefits for you. Um, whenever I find any new app that sort of makes sense and works for creatives, I would definitely, definitely share it with you guys. So this is a comparison between the two different videos. The first one on the left is the one that was uploaded from the Instagram app. And then the second one on the right is the one uploaded from the Insist app from the desktop. That's the app we're talking about. And you can clearly see the difference between the two of them. The one from the Instagram app, the quality is obviously not that great. And the one on the left is the one from, you know, it the one on the right, it, re it really looks nice. And now the one in the middle right now, is the original video itself so look at the three options and see how close are they to the original so i think this is one of those things i feel you can also just consider when you're using this particular app the video quality upload is really good what the hell are you doing here i thought you was at work i was at work and then you decided to just ignore me how did i ignore you i texted you i love you and you left me on red I was in the shower! And you can't respond? In the shower? Do you know how long you've been ignoring me for? Three minutes! Three! Do you know how much you can get done in three minutes? I was in the shower! Thank you so much for watching and subscribe, please and please subscribe. I've said that like three times already. Please subscribe. Um, it really helps me a lot. So thank you and bye-bye.